in this video which I was not gonna even I did not even really plan on realizing one I like to use that word realize because I do plan a lot of things I wait on what I do when I do and some projects just would not come to life because of variety of reasons uh, this just happened to be one of them I greatly waited on whether I should do it or not delayed one deliberately for variety of reasons one of the reason was one of the reasons was to say on that MK Ultra Americans insisted for me to do this video uh, concerning basically people I have met throughout immigration system in Poland and the way I saw this is that number one it would cover my own case which are basically facts and Ultra facts which I need in order to press on United Nations other human rights organizations uh, when you did a video like this it kind of a covers it kind of a covers your you know proofs audio recordings and stuff like this that you did and the second reason is you know this isn't you know when they ask you to do the stuff like this do it you know, I kind of a felt that it was few of them that insist on my doing this kind of video that it would actually be even used for some kind of training purposes or something like this to demonstrate uh, to intelligence services a type of stuff that one can encounter in situations as such and we are talking about asylum political asylum situations as such and when it comes to that it, it just about everything that would give any kind of credibility to Donald Trump I totally decline I have and will continue to do so and I have since 2017 when I helped him out winning the US elections uh, on one individual actually turned against me so this is the type of person he is along with his beautiful Melania Trump beautiful in a parenthesis lady from my own city same age as I am who came to pick me up in Miami uh, with idea to bring me back home for her daddy not for her daddy but her father is just part of this UDBA KGB organization over there in Slovenia from Yugoslav times that uh, have used you know I should say they have used her to do that type of dirty job so you know it's a kind of stuff that uh, I totally decline uh, declined but I somehow decided I'm gonna go forward and in fact that I'm gonna face off with this kind of issue as well as mine it's gonna be I think it's gonna be done well so it add up a little bit more it should add up a little bit more credibility to my case one way or the other um, I think actually this is this might be actually the most important part of the videos because you know let's explain who these people are how all this stuff happened okay so how all this stuff happened if we go from beginning I'm gonna tell you how it all happened uh, the people in the center who these people are these people are at one point okay um, some of them not all of them some of them and question really is how many of them were at one point these people were actually actually many of them that you would be it's kind of a shocking because it involved Kurdish people it involved um, you know people from Iraq it involved people from Iran um, that would belong into like minority groups at some point in time these people were really uh, real refugees in 2003 2002 2004 2005 2006 
From the beginning when it all started, most of these people were like a real refugees when it all started. Uh, you also had few people like this from, you know, from Chechnya. Uh, they were legitimate refugees. Now what happened was the politicians that, you know, huh, how can I say, that had me around and we would go through this Dembak and we would come here to uh, to Grotniki near Wurch they would become interested in these people, in their stories how they got here, who they are before you know the word would go around and you would even have politicians from Iran um, expressing interest uh, in who actually is here and so on because of the multitude of this case enormous case you got the biggest politicians around here and just happened to be around people that took off from their countries for one or another reason and so what happened was they either offered them you know I'm not gonna stay say in some cases they offer them a state security jobs like let's say the individual from from iran in denbok he got a security clearance from iran a christian but he got a security clearance from iran um I'm just giving this as an example of one individual. I did recognize him. I recognized another Irani, which for which I'm not sure whether he got the security clearance or not. But I, when I was in Denmark, I have explained that I recognized the Kurdish guy. I pointed out his age. Uh, pointed out, uh, recognized this Irani guy and another Irani guy who also was uh, under MK Ultra in 2005-2006, they were like, um, they were like, like two brothers, really, both from Iran and just about the same age, just a few years difference between the two, that I did accent in the video. I don't know whether he got security clearance or not, but then you had another group of people. In this another group of people, you had a KGB people, like the roommate right now I have, uh, like the guy downstairs. It's a, it's a KGB dude from Belarus, used to be a police officer. KGB, I mean, just a KGB connected straight to the Moscow, straight to the Putin. These are people connected straight to the Putin. That they somehow became also a refugees. And so now what you have, you have commanders, of course, the two I have already mentioned. You have stuff like this. One is the main guy is the one from Minsk, from Belarus. And then you have the whole, like, like a like a pyramid you would have few others that are also there's also a guy from Chechnya you have some already disappeared um, and you have the whole like pyramid that goes that diversifies into different branches that uh, pretty much controls the whole system you also have now the people that whether they like it or not, they had to participate in this ordeal because they are subjected to employment, unemployment factor. What are you, you're not going to do it or you're going to do it, you're going to do it because if you're not going to do it, then you're going to spend the rest of your life without the job. The jobs you got, it's going to be because you owe state, you're going to complete this and that. Um, you got the variety of people of which some are not even um, straight connected to Chechnya, let's say, but you have Chechens that I was told they went to the Germany and stuff like this. They're right here in Poland. 
that did damages. That's a Varshava right there. This is basically who is inside of this immigration system, more or less. Now you also have, you're also going to have another type of people, um, but I'm not going to even go into that stuff. They are related to UN, you know, a different kind of issue, again, a different type of political uh, group or view, if you like. The thing, however, is that it all comes to what I'm going to explain to you in this video because it all comes to whether you manage to like reveal force them compel them uh, this whole picture which they have created to be entirely revealed uh, so they give their identities out the real identities out or um, I guess not I don't really know which which option this is going to be because based on what I see here is that so far that assistance from the UN or European Union so far I haven't got any. Uh, I gotta say there was no interest uh, expressed that would stop this ordeal. This is a crazy shit. I might look young but really I'm 47. Um, and I'm not moved when, when people tell me that I'm young for a bunch of reasons I don't even want to say in this video. If you would know how I was mistreated here uh, on that MK Ultra by a young people of which some have become a police officer and officers and have displayed attitude like you know toward older guy like me 10 years older than them and it really doesn't matter like you are shit and this is just how it's gonna be done whether you like it or not um, you know I'm just saying I am just saying it's 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 so many issues involving this stuff that it's not an easy case okay let's just say it's not an easy case what is it what's going on with these people these people you, how you want to title this video what do you want to title one is how they try to protect their identities or um, the play itself, why is it, how they try to um, maneuver through the system, how they try to, how they try to, how they protect each other, what kind of case they have created, what this would look like. It's like this, basically. These people are never going to give you, like, I am, that's right, it's me. We met before this and that. They're not going to give you any stuff like this. They're just going to give you like, if, okay, if you can point out like a certain fact about, um, like if you like the guy, let's say that I took him under the microscope and I pointed out his location the first day when he came, where he came from, and so on. Um, that was really good one. But what you really need is you need you need their whole structure, you know, you need you need them completely self-reveal to the world. And they're not gonna do it, they don't wanna do this stuff. They don't wanna say no matter what, they're not gonna give you uh, they're not gonna give you a yes, yes answer, but you know, it's it's pretty much identical situation outside of the center when you go out there when you meet people you recognize them but nobody is gonna you know um nobody's gonna say yeah i saw you here or whatever and the worst part about it is they would not even give any kind of video recording or anything like this which are plentiful and voice recordings and video recordings and all kinds of stuff i know that a lot of things happen but this is another issue. The number one play uh, used to protect 
for me to explain how they do it and why they do it this way. Um, used to protect their identity is basically a play which is used right in front of your eyes. Uh, what they try to do is they... Let's say you have recorded something, a video, let's say, okay? Or let's say that you have some kind of information, music, whatever it is you have recorded, okay? When I was subjected to MK Ultra, this is, you're talking about professionals here, there were people that were like Americans, they... Russians, they totally, totally had individual that was with us all the time inside um, inside this center centers that would just go and he would just write down write down this I heard like I don't know how many times under MK Ultra it was write this down write it down wherever I was if I would go if there was something that got my attention anything that would got my attention under MK Ultra it was write down this is number one thing I remember. Write down. What exactly that means is that they created that original information, a recording, if you like, on what they would basically imitate that original recording when they would do the rehearsal of MK Ultra, so that reality would look absolutely no different from what was MK Ultra. Now that kind of stuff can be really really touchy. I'm pretty sure you understand what mental issues are. Paranoia, schizophrenia and stuff like this. So basically it's used to demoralize, to discourage individual. Number two, it's used to protect their identity because they're engaging like in front of you with stuff that triggered your attention uh, basically repeating exactly not exactly the same but you know imitating the same situations uh, what as a result has not only in their mind uh, re-recording the original event but it also has psychological impact on them. It gives them like psychological confidence. Like basically I was also told that they would be trained like to see through you like you don't actually exist. And it was something very similar that happened in Belarus because it was also MK Ultra in Belarus. And somebody told me that the lady that sipped garbage inside of my food over there in the Belarus, where I prefer one, uh, which she would literally go with a hand inside of my pot and stuff like this. Uh, that they saw that that these people looked at me in a way that kind of I did not see me, but it was like they saw through me. In fact, there is some kind of a technique, I was even told, that they are look, looking in your forehead, something like this, seeing you not even uh, like a human being, definitely not equal human being, but someone like a dummy, like a stupid, that can be just... That is just nobody that does not represent any kind of obstacle, any kind of value, basically anything in this world. And in fact, it's a righteous cause to violate your, um, you know, basically to violate you, basically to violate uh, anything that applies to you as a human being. Okay, so this is this is a psychological factor that is used to basically support one another. Uh, in fact, if you do get involved with them, uh, you start to believe, you know, that you start to bite and ask questions and stuff like this about 
their setups and things which I'm gonna in a little bit I'm gonna use an example that gives them like your extra stamina like rightfulness like you know that it's actually the rightful cause they're doing and I did acknowledge that it is extremely disturbing to them when you don't pay attention to it when you laugh at them or when you now I do uh, you know you even point out who they are that's when things go completely wrong for instance a Belarus dude with me inside of the room related related to the top to the Moscow was involved in torture MK ultra torture would keep repeating to me that he did not break any laws that he did not break any laws but he did not break any laws so he basically see himself that subjecting to someone to MK ultra torture does not mean to break any laws that this is completely legitimate rightful thing to do that he is actually entitled that this is this man is actually privileged and has the right to treat another person this way there is no remorse there is no remorse from this boy as an example i'm gonna give you the other day we had a situation over there when he and few chechens made a demonstration of an incident which involved him and his short pants he would walk out of the room and then you would hear yelling and screaming on a hallway and it was pushing and all kinds of stuff happened he came inside and have explained that he was attacked basically because he used shorts that it was the shorts that he not supposed to use according to the muslims and stuff like that uh, well he didn't say that he just because he had a shorts and so I went out and I wanted to find out really what's going on if anything like this is possible at all and I was stupid enough really stupid so I am using this word stupid stupid enough to bite this divide and conquer um, well I did not even know what it was all about so I came out and the behavior is very like very crazy kind of behavior it's like you know, have a dude coming in your face and they will just tell you that shut up because he's gonna hit you or he can hit you or you know basically don't even ask questions did you you do understand that uh, that this hand can smack you and <laughs> stuff like this i mean really really stupid stuff like this nonsense stuff that probably a lot of people would go bite and it would be a trouble um and you have dude coming to me younger younger man i don't know how old really but must be i don't know maybe 20 something like this would come to me and say that hey you know uh that he walk in front of the muslims in a shorts and then there was like another chicken young one too that felt that same way that and then you have lady coming mom that just wanted to whip him one time uh because the ladies ladies don't actually approve this kind of stuff and so i was i was completely confused and so i was stupid enough actually to you know for a moment i grabbed this and i you know i have bitten this kind of stuff when he start, when he said this and he wanted to tell me more about it i said listen i said man you are right now in europe you're in Poland and blah 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 and just stupidity prevailed in me for like entire maybe five minutes because 
the next thing I did, I went to security guard. I was all confused because I, I didn't know. To me, it didn't make no sense because most of these people are nice to me. Okay, I feel that some of them want to help me out. Even they help me, me. They, you know, some of them they give me food sometime and stuff like this. And it likewise, I would want to help them out too. And it doesn't make me sense when you know you come here to file for protection, whatever it is that you come and um, you go and you attack. I'm not gonna say like-minded individual, but in a political sense, yeah, sort of like-minded individual because we both have a conflict with what's happening over there in Kremlin. It's nothing really positive that goes on. Uh, and so I was shocked and I just, I couldn't, it just twisted in my head what you know, they started to push me, of course, they started to push you and they're going to hit you and I don't know what. Uh, and so I had the security boot, I said, you know, that this, this is the stuff we cannot have and this and that. We should report this to Warsaw and they should assure that people that come here from the Muslim countries, that they are knowledge, that they cannot, uh, you know, do the stuff like this. And then it really clicked in my head, this same dude that did this shit just about a month earlier told me in the face that you know he actually is like a tourist you know here it's like a you know doing nothing really just playing music walking around doing boom boom with the doors and stuff like that good time good time and you know you realize it's not that you realize you realize actually you do realize that you 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 were an idiot for like five minutes entire five minutes um this isn't about muslims there's no nobody there is no idiot in this world that would go you know in somebody's country that would have other religion and would tell man uh, what kind of a pants they can wear, whether they can wear short pants or long pants. I mean, nothing to do with the real Muslims is basically what I'm trying to say. But it was so well orchestrated and so difficult to uh, discern here between, because they dress like this, they dress like a real Muslims. Um, you know, these are like... They maybe even are Muslims, but they're like extremely liberal type of Muslims. So like Muslims that you're not really sure whether they're like Muslims or they are like, you know, they might be Muslims, but they're doing like filthy, dirty job against Islam on behalf of Moscow. Maybe they just in a certain moment, they're more Moscovian than, than they were Muslims. And maybe in another moment, they feel they are more Muslims than uh, whatever it is. Whatever they use, uh, it works for them because they do it. Somehow they do it. Okay, if it wouldn't work for them, they wouldn't do it. And so I realized what's going on. And then, you know, the same when he started to, you know, he started to have another guy that's also supposed to be over there somewhere from the media but he came in the room that you just gotta talk to him not be afraid that he but now that, that he is a muslim but now that he is a christian and stuff like this but well, don't be scared than this than that i mean totally funny stuff but it ended up with my totally pointing him out that i'm not gonna swallow this type of bs if he can just stop you know with his play and that was not a happy news for him in the morning just one more time his french guy because he speaks french he tried to trigger schizophrenia because this is a real schizophrenia you they are schizophrenics they are creating the stuff they are seeing stuff that they believe other people are gonna see it because of what they have done on RMK Ultra. Try to get like a feedback from me, like this is a black guy. In the morning at the breakfast, 
and basically try to involve you in, in this kind of dementia, you know, in this kind of talk. Like, somehow we're going to get you inside and somehow you're going to believe this stuff. I'll tell you about it, that this is not okay, that we can walk in short pants and stuff like this. You know, and I just had to calm him down too. Uh, I just, I would not swallow any of that. And I would, still he would come inside of the room and start to talk in front of me with him. That's what they like to do. They like, they would go, they like to go and start indirect uh, BS in front of the person that is subject to this type of treatment. So the two engage right there in front of you. God bless on their behalf, from their side, the God would bless if you would be stupid enough and you would go and start to engage against them and say something that this already happened and this and that. If you would do this at the beginning of this procedure, they would shred you. You would be destroyed, you would be taken away because you don't have proofs, you don't have anything to point out what's going on. Okay. This was the stuff that went on from beginning a lot and then less and less and less and it totally failed now. Um, when I did this, when I started to do this kind of stuff, what they do is they, they start to protest. It's like, like you would be in a prison and you would have like, like, like inmates like doing a revolt or something like this here in a hallway. It's just, just like a rabble. It's like I... Wow, it's like a revolution that goes on. Stuff like this. They they just, they want you, they, at all costs, they want to maintain control over you, no matter what. And they use a variety of, of there is a whole variety of ways to control a person. Um, one group is... I, this is the same group, basically. This is the same group of people they, they use, pretty much. It's a, it's a closed group. They, they're always going to be around you. And, in fact, they have control over others, and that's going to make you feel like everybody is like this. And it's not. This is just not the case. One group, it's like, let's say, just one side of this group is like, doing everything possible to make your life impossible. They'll create noise, they'll do attack you through work you do through the tablet, whatever it is that you do out there, it's gonna be a trouble. Electricity, charging, anything is gonna be a trouble. Then at the same time they try to discover they try to discourage you. I mean ridicule you in every possible way you possibly can imagine really you have no idea what kind of stuff i have <clears throat> i'm not allowed to release as out as i i already told you in Warsaw. i was told the last meeting i had with them i'm not allowed to release uh actually audio records uh, anybody inside of the center video record it's so prohibited okay but it's all kind of stuff that goes on and then at the same time it's like, I'm going to give you an example, like, you go, let's say, supposedly, you, the first, the first thing of all, you wouldn't get that far if somebody else would be in charge of you. Obviously that you're doing something right, that you are what you are, and obviously that a lot of these people, most of these people haven't done anything, so they are in situations as they are. They are the one they have no control over the situation, really, of their own situations. Uh, I'm the one who have managed somehow to gain and demonstrate in my life really what's going on, which is extraordinary. And that's extraordinary it can be taken away from you by basically demonstrating you like a parenthood over you, like carry, like they all of a sudden they become like worried about what is it that you do so they they're worried about when you do something right the stuff that you do and they are again worried when you're not doing anything 
when you're not doing anything, where you're, let's say, browsing the internet after hours, we try to get some break, where you try to eat something or something like this, it's again worse them. They will not give you, they will not leave you in peace, whatever it is the hell that you do. And so, let's say you stay awake after 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, maybe midnight even, um, they will start again coughing and stuff like this and this is for your own good because you should go sleep even that same night you're gonna be effed radiated like a mouse again awoken at about 5 30 between 5 30 and 6 o'clock you see this is the type of game so what they try to do they try to destabilize they try to drive you insane through a variety of uh, issues where is the store where is the nearest store? How to get, let's say, to the city? How to get to the lodge? How to get to the Zgersh? These are the type of questions, you know, that you get from the people for whom you know they have spent years on this very location. They are more than familiarized, not only with the stores, not only how you get there, but with the people who in some cases would kept I see the guy got the bicycle the other day, that was the same bicycle he used under MK Ultra. The shoes, when you come, the shoes and clothing that's supposed to be like donated stuff. They would have already shoes when clothing, when they would bring the clothing and stuff like this. When the owner supposedly would bring the clothing and stuff like this. The only thing they would do is they would pick up their shoes basically from the past, folks. This is how this is done. Their numbers, their shoes, this is how this stuff is done. Not that they would want to know about how to get to the certain city, uh, to the certain location, or if there are stores, or how to find such thing. They alone want to know, and I remember this from MK Ultra 2 when we were in Zgirsh, if you're not going to tell us where this is located or how to get there and so on and this and that, we are not going to even think about cooperating with you because you, we're going to deem you as being like, you know, limited with your mind. So meaning that it's actually used for them to evaluate you and not that they would know where they are and this and that. This basically is what we are talking about in this particular case. Russians, how the Russians, if we go back a little bit to that Muslim issue, okay, how they have see this thing as how they what kind of a case did the Russians create? How they, what exactly have they created? What kind of chances do they have? Okay, add to that kind of a Muslim stuff. Okay, add to that kind of a Muslim stuff. Add to that that I was taken to Tajikistan, that I was taken to Kazakhstan, that I was taken to Chechnya and other Russian republics republics um, that I was in Iran I was in Kuwait I was in many other countries but these were the countries that Russians basically have used to suggest me not only I was taken I was there under MK Ultra they took us to those locations I didn't go alone have insisted, in fact, that I'm going to be sold to those countries, that I'm going to be actually sold to those countries that if they're going to see that I'm friendly with the Muslims, that I have, that I keep uh, a good relation with them, the only thing that's going to happen is we will take you there. If you're not going to see it our way, is what I was taught. If you're not going to see it our way, if you will still continue to see it their way, you will be sold, you will be gone. So you're talking about, you're not talking about, I'm going to say racism, fascism, Nazism only. You're talking about a mixture of criminality like 
Total criminality, genocide, torture mixed with the racism, discrimination and everything else when it comes to Russia. And yet under MK Ultra, I was the one who was called, while they were raping Polish women, I was the one who was called uh, Bandera. And Ukraine alone paid price. And Russian people, man, paid price. There was a lot stuff I have not even spoken about, but that is going to pertain to a video about Mr. Kaczynski, because I'm going to go really in details about this mysterious man who runs Poland from behind the curtain. Now, when you add this kind of issues to all this stuff, and you're basically placed in one situation, one form where you are discriminated against, like totally discriminated against, uh, based I, not only religion, but you were able to see, I mean, just about anything you do, you are discriminated against. By the people, again, who sometimes see themselves more as Muslims and sometimes they see themselves more as Moscow. In that case, the chances are slandered that they would not manage to destroy you. That they would not pull out from you at least, you know, something that would be that would that could be used at their advantage i was gonna say right here i was gonna say i was gonna continue the day failed and this is where i modified the, the video they have not failed they did not fail they succeeded they succeeded 24 years of my life was ruined destroyed voided and i'm a dead man walking now that's all i am uh, I have no diabetes, I have no brain cancer, I don't think I have any of that, but with radiation what they have done to me, a hypertension which they have caused I believe a permanent now in my head, that thing is going to stay with me for as long as I am alive, and that is about a type of very similar situation to tinnitus and more than anything it causes a stroke it places you in a wheelchair you're dead man walking so they did not fail Kaczynski succeeded Kaczynski Trump succeeded in murdering me and I want this thing to be known before I am out of here where I spent about nine and something months within this murderous immigration system in Poland. They did not fail, they succeeded, they fulfilled the legacy of Kaczynski, of Trump, which started in Slovenia. This is where they started to play with directed energy weapons. It is disgusting to note that the United Nations, who knew about this case, they had their people involved in this stuff, People who acted against me on behalf of Belarus, on behalf of Russia, I have well explained. They noted, they knew that my neighbor in Slovenia speaks Polish. They knew that my niece's husband speaks Polish. It doesn't take much to go investigate, find out, even if they would not have their people involved in it. And so, they did not fail, they succeeded, but I also succeeded to prove who is behind it all. So that's all I want to say. And then you go and you figure out, since they talk about the money, a lot about the money, who succeeded in what and who should be entitled to what. That's all I got to say for this video. Thanks for watching with a really sour taste in my mouth. Till next time. Sometimes I'm asking myself, what am I doing this for at all?